Panels. I want to introduce my very feisty panel tonight. I have a feeling, I just have a feeling. Peter Schiff, author of Little Book of Bull Moves in Bear Markets and President of Europac, and Verge Bernero, Mayor of Lansing, Michigan. Mr. Mayor, welcome back. Here's the bottom line. Even if the $34 billion loan is granted, Moody's is saying, and they said this at the hearing today, it won't fix the problem. That it's very possible it could cost up to $125 billion. Where does it end? All right, Peter, uh, yeah. I'll address the same it's, question to you. It, it's, it's never going to end. You never, government money isn't going to fix the problem. It's simply going to perpetuate the problem. You know, first of all, you know, two wrongs don't, don't make a right. Just because the government illegally and improperly bailed out Wall Street doesn't mean they need to make the same mistake with Detroit. You know, we need to let these companies go bankrupt. That is the only solution to the problem. If we want to have a vibrant automobile industry, we need to allow the ones that fail to go out of business so more competent and people can come in and run those plants more efficiently and employ those workers making cars profitably that people want to drive. Well, to your point, Peter, uh, there is a list of the top five rated hybrid cars, and only one of them is American. The top rated is the Toyota Camry Hybrid, then there's the Honda Civic Hybrid, then there's the Toyota Prius, which... Full disclosure, I happen to own. Then there's a Nissan Altima hybrid. Yeah. And finally, finally, at number five, you get to the Saturn Aura hybrid. So how can we trust these guys to make the, the well, hybrid we, that everybody's going to buy look, when, they're, when they're not highly rated as we, being excellent well, cars? We can't trust them to do anything. All they can do is lose money. That's all they know how to do. And they've blown up all the money they had. Now they're coming to the government asking for more. If you're mentioning that the private equity firm that owns Chrysler, if they don't want to put their own money into the company, why should the government put taxpayer money in, especially when the government is broke and we have to borrow the buyout money from the Chinese and the Japanese? Why should we go deeper into debt to support, you know, in inefficient companies. Let All them right. fail. Mayor Verge Bernero of Lansing, Michigan. I can just feel your <laughs> the smoke coming out of your ears as you hear this because you don't think that they're incompetent. You don't think that uh, they should be number five of the top five rated hybrids according to how they're ranked, though, by, by reputable <coughs> ranking companies. How do we deal with the fact that they can make all the hybrids they want, but Americans might not buy them? Well, look, the auto industry's come a long way. Does it have a ways to go? Of course. Uh, but this is not your father's automobile company, to borrow a line from Oldsmobile. Uh, they are cleaner and greener than ever before. This is an industry with an outstanding track record. This is an industry that has helped build the middle class. It is worthy of investment. The Chrysler bailout three, uh, 30 years ago paid off. This oh, investment didn't. will pay off. You know, it didn't, it didn't. We, didn't, we didn't get 30 years of productivity from it. Chrysler is back in bankruptcy. How do you know what, what Chrysler would look like if the government had stayed out of it? You I know, know if, you, if, you think, if you think these companies are such good investments, you put your own money into it. If they really I, think they have a good plan, let them sell it to the private capital markets. Don't well, let them going hat in hand to Washington. That's because they don't have a viable plan. You know, that's right, Verge. A lot of people feel that had Chrysler gone out of business, it would have sent a strong message to Detroit, hey, change change well, but when you enable a company to continue doing business the way it's been doing it then maybe they don't make the kind of drastic changes they need to make well that's a very cavalier attitude that that is what we've come to expect from washington and wall street which is really what orchestrated this whole selling out of the american way of life and exporting all of our jobs these companies that thirty years that we bought that peter doesn't find useful for anything was thirty years of people uh... all around this country having a great uh... living and uh, good benefits you know having uh, medical coverage and that sort of thing that's not the primary purpose the of the company of bankrupting, they bankrupted the companies but you know look i agree with one thing we we need to have a resurgent manufacturing industry. We need a new industrial revolution. But we're not going to have a vibrant manufacturing economy if we support non-profitable companies with government money. We well, need to you know let right, these guys, Hang tight. Uh, we're going to be right back with more fiery debate. Got an opinion or question on the bulging bailout and how it affects you? Give us a call. one eight seven seven jvm says That's one 586 7297 I'm going to be back with your calls on our economic mess in just a moment. But first, we are back with Peter Schiff, president of Europac and Lansing Mayor Verge Bernero, and we are taking your calls. Linda in California, your thought or question, man? I feel like um, uh, General Motors, Chrysler, and Ford should have to eat this. I know that uh, as a veteran of the United States Army, 
I've worked hard all of my life. I can't even get my benefits. But these people are spending billions and billions and billions of dollars on these corporations who have gotten themselves in this shape. We didn't put them in that shape. Then you can't turn around and get credit. You can't buy the cars. You can't get credit. You can't get money. You can't make money. Well, it's a vicious you know, cycle. Linda, you know, the, yeah. I the, think, the, go ahead. It, the, you know, the point is everybody forgets if we're going to bail out General Motors, if the government is going to redirect capital to the auto industry, how many companies are they going to destroy in the process? Who's going to be denied capital because the government is directing it uh, to Ford and General Motors? Remember, the government doesn't have any money. They only have the money that they take from somebody else. So we end up punishing or destroying a profitable business in order to subsidize a non-profitable business, and other people lose their jobs in order for people in Detroit to keep their Job. Well, the other problem, Verge, is that we have to find credit so that people can buy cars because oh, right no. now the cars are there, but there yeah. there isn't credit. Uh, you know in the testimony that, that today, isn't... 30 people went into one dealership, according to the testimony today, and all 30 were turned down there's, for financing. There's a car. good reason for that. You know, Americans, we, we've bought too many cars over the years. That's the problem. We have to stop buying cars. We have to drive the cars we have. We need to make cars and export them.